Matembezi yamefanyika hivi leo mjini Mombasa kwa adhimisha siku ya kupinga biashara ya ulanguzi wa binadamu duniani. Awali ripoti ilichapishwa na shirika la uhamiaji duniani IOM kuhusu hali ya usafirishaji haramu wa binadamu kwa mujibu wa utafiti zilizofanywa katika kaunti Mombasa na Kwale. Awali Tobias Chanja alizungumza na mmoja wa athiriwa wa biashara haramu ya usafirishaji wa watu. Sasa anajumuika pamoja na mmoja wa athiriwa ambao ameathirika kwa kupelekwa kulanguliwa na kupelekwa katika nchi za Saudi katika biashara hii ya ulanguzi wa binadamu si matani lakini majina yake anaitwa Baby Salma na Baby Salma utatuelezea tukisa chako kilikuwa kipi na labda ni mwaka upi ambapo uliweza kwenda nchi ya Saudi Mimi niliwahi safari nikaenda Saudi Arabia mji wa Jidda na niliondoka Mombasa safari yangu na shukuru ilikuwa nzuri nikaelekea mpaka Nairobi na Nairobi ndio nilichukua ndege mpaka Saudi Arabia. Kwa kusema kweli walinipokea vizuri matajiri zangu na akanipeleka hadi mahali nitafanya kazi kwa nyumba. Kazi yenyewe ilikuwa ni ya nyumba. Nilipofika kwa hiyo nyumba ilikuwa na watoto wanne, wasichana ili na wavulana ili. Nilikaa hapo nao vijana vizuri, nikawashuhudikia kama wanafanya kazi vizuri. Lakini baada ya muda huyo madam ndiye alianza kunigeukia kwa upande wa chakula alikuwa anipatii chakula lakini mzee wake hakuwa mbaya alikuwa ananishughulikia wakati mwingine akitoka kazini ananibebea chakula ananipatia kisiri lakini madam akimpata ilikuwa inaleta shida sana wanakosana na mzee wake na ukija upande pia wa kunilipa malipo yangu hapo ndo tulikorofishana kwa sababu hawakuwa wanataka kunilipa pesa yangu baada ya miezi mitatu na mimi hiyo ndo nilianza kusumbuana na wao nilikaa tu nikavumilia paka baada ya miezi mitatu ulipofika mwezi wa nne niliwaambia sasa mimi siwezi fanya kazi kama mtanilipa kwa sababu mimi pia nimetoka Kenya kwa sababu ya shida zangu nimekuja huku nipate pesa inisaidie na familia yangu hapo ndo tulisumbuana wakanichukua wakanipeleka mahali ambapo naweza pata usaidizi walinipeleka polisi kwa ufupi na nashukuru tulipofika huko polisi walinisaidia wakaniambia kuwa wakamwelezea huyo tajiri yangu huyu na form dipe pesa yake ama umrudishe Kenya kwa sababu hawezi kukufanya kazi kama umpatii chakula amshughulikie umpatii malipo yake na nashukuru pia Mungu atupe mja yake nilipata kijana ambaye yuko huko pande huko anasimamia hayo mambo anaitwa Saidi anatoka Mombasa bondeni na alinisaidia kwa sababu si kuamini venye nilimuona niliona tu ni kama waarabu lakini sasa yeye alikuwa anaongea uliweza kwenda vipi Saudi nilisafirishwa na agent agent ndo alimpeleka na safari yako kurudi safari yangu ya kurudi huyo kijana ndo pia alinisaidia alinishughulikia akaniambia mimi nitakurudisha nyumbani dada zangu huko msije huko ni mateso matupu afadhali mbakie Mombasa mbakie Kenya na shida zenu si kama huku kule unaweza weka karai ukashoma viazi maamri na ukapata riski yako na, na baada ya kurudi labda unajishughulisha na nini kwa sasa nashukuru mimi ni chef nafanya kwa hoteli niliwahi fanya Sarova Wet Sands Milele Beach Hotel ni mpishi mkubwa so unaendelea na kazi hiyo kwa sasa kwa sasa ni niko mapumziko kwa sababu moto ulikuwa kidogo na ni affect kwa kifua. Labda ungewaambia vipi labda wasichana kama wewe ambao wanafanyia kwenda nchi kama hizi? Mimi sijakataza dada zangu akazanguni wote waende lakini wakitaka kwenda kuna njia ambazo hata mimi pia nashukuru sasa nilipata shirika la Trace Kenya imenisaidia ili ni cancel na hata sasa pia nashughulikia hiyo mambo kusaidia wenzangu kama wanaenda huko wanapata mateso wakirudi wana wanaanza kukaa wako na stress na watafuta na napatia mawaidha na wakansel tunashirikiana na wao tunafanya kazi pamoja pia kuna shirika la IOM ili tusaidia na msaada kuna vyombo fulani venye alitupatia vinatusaidia kwa majumba vinatupatia risk yetu tunashukuru Mungu Ah na mkakaombua huyo ni moja wapo tu ya makumi ah, ya waathiriwa ambao wameathirika na biashara hii ah, ya ulanguzi wa binadamu. Tulipo hapa visa ni vingi sana kuna hata watoto chini ya miaka 12 na miaka 13 ambao wameathirika na biashara hii. Na tunamhakikishia mtazamaji kuwa katika habari zetu za jioni za saa moja na saa tatu ataweza kupata zaidi kuhusiana na biashara ya ulanguzi wa binadamu kwako studio.
na mtazamaji huyo hapo ni Tobias Chanje alikuwa akizungumza awali na waathiriwa katika kaunti ya Mombasa ambapo basi matembezi hayo yalikuwa yameandaliwa makala ya pili ya maonesho ya biashara yameanza hivi leo katika jumba la mikutano ya kimataifa KICC katibu katika wizara ya biashara Chris Kipto amesema Kenya itaanza kuangazia fursa za kibiashara zinazotolewa na mashirika kama mpango wa biashara kwa mataifa ya Afrika Agoa na mkataba wa kibiashara na mataifa ya umoja wa Ulaya EPA meeting of regulators on trade facilitation any regulator that engages in international trade in one way or the other we would like them to be on the table with us we engage and discuss how best their services can be more trade facilitative we shall also discuss issues of commodity exchange and let you know progress we are making towards establishing a national commodity exchange we shall end the trade week on friday with discussions around trade facilitation ease of competitiveness is of doing business and national competitiveness experts will critically examine how these issues are intertwined and how they affect exports and competitiveness of our country as an investment destination so i end my remarks by saying that um, we would like to thank some development partners who have supported us led by the government of the united kingdom through the trademark east africa who supported us to do the to develop the trade policy i mean the national trade policy and the export strategy and we also thank the government of the united states of america through usaid for supporting us in coming up with the agoa strategy through the east africa trade and investment hub i wish to recognize all national sponsors and partners that include export promotion council anti counterfeit agency brand kenya board council of governors among others i welcome you all to the second edition of the kenya trade week 2018 we want to see greater interest of kenyans to expand uh, their investments and we have received some of those reports by would also be when uh, when industry speaks and i'm really talking mostly to sachin and tiku and uh, and vimal and others we would also like to get the signal of what it what is what else is required for us to see expanded investment in kenya by uh, kenyan firms government is focusing on attracting uh, external investment at the itmf conference in november in, in september next uh, that's next in two but in then um yeah, in september so in two months time we expect to see additional uh, investors express interest in the textile and uh, apparel sectors on friday this week we are receiving some uh, recognizing some additional chinese investment i think about 2 billion worth of investment some deals being signed this friday so we're actually seeing external investors but the focus of government is to ensure that those external investors are partnering and supporting local investors to also expand and get some technological get some technological transfer so we really want to see greater partnership and if there's anything that you think we can do to expand investment please let us know we're open for you no know, any any dialogue and consultation there will be discussions around export development and promotion by reflecting on our journey in the export trade over the past decades our export story will depict how we have been supporting manufacturing by negotiating for market access opportunities and resolving trade disputes and conflicts arising from trade and commerce at bilateral, regional, and multilateral level. This also includes negotiations to find solutions to the problems of non-tariff barriers to trade which arise from time to time. For instance, in 2017, Kenya exported 40% of its exports to Africa, the bulk of them to East African community and the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, Comesa. These are markets where we are either export on duty-free or preferential tariff arrangements which have been negotiated and agreed upon. 
The products exported to EAC and Comesa are value-added industrial products. We intend to ensure this market share continues to be maintained and expanded to benefit Kenyan manufacturers. My ministry is alive to the competition and the challenges in these markets, and we are prepared to work jointly with the private sector to find appropriate solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, trained operates within a framework of rules and regulations, both at the national and international level. To support the Big Four agenda, my ministry will ensure that fair trained practices and the consumer protection remain at the core of every business. In our efforts to promote fair import competition, the 11th Parliament enacted the Trade Remedies Act 2017, and my ministry in the, is in the process of establishing a trade remedies agency that will operate within the World Trade Organization agreements on anti-dumping, subsidies, and countervailing measures and safeguards to cushion the domestic industry in Kenya against unfair competition from dumping, subsidized products, and import surges. Na tukelekea katika pwani ya Kenya ni kuwa zaidi ya wakazi elfu mbili kutuka kijiji chaka kuyuni eneo la malindi kaunti ya kilifi wamepokea matibabu ya bure katika kambi ya matibabu iliondaliwa na mashirika ya siyo serikali. Kambi hiyo ya siku moja kwa jina afya bora iliondaliwa na shirika la Better to Life na lotoa misaada ya matibabu kwa walio shindwa kufika hospitalini. Odumu wa matibabu wapatao wa msini na tisa kutoka hospitali tofauti jijini Mombasa walijitolea kwa kazi hiyo. Huduma za matibabu zilitolewa ni zilizotolewa ni pamoja na kupimwa saratani, huduma za meno, afya ya uzazi na ngozi miongoni mwa magonjwa mengine. <tos> Jicho halioni ilikuwa likiuma sasa halioni ndio tabu yangu na ikafika hapa kwa matibabu ya macho na wale daktari akasema hii macho yako hataweza kuyafanya kwa ngo hapa sasa utakupiga simu utaja kufa kwa nyama mbasa gundua kwamba hapa katika mji wa Kakuyuni pamoja na viunga vyake kuna maradhi mbalimbali na watu ambao wana maradhi haya hayana uwezo wa kufikia huduma za za matibabu ndipo sasa tukaungana na ndugu zetu hawa wanajita better together ili tuweze kupanga hafla hii ambayo inaendelea hivi sasa hafla hii tuna target kuweza kupata uh, kuatibu watu zaidi ya 1500 ambao wana magonjwa kuanzia saratani ya matiti saratani ya cervix maradhi ya meno ya ngozi na maradhi ya watoto maradhi ya ya pressure kisukari na halkadhalka ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba huduma ya matibabu bado haijashika nguvu katika Kilifi County na hasa kule mashambani tunashukuru kwa sababu yale kidogo ambayo Kilifi County government wanafanya ni kwamba lazima yatiwe nguvu na ndipo sasa tunawaambia kwamba ndugu zetu katika serikali ya kaunti kwamba tukishirikiana na tukipeana nguvu na kuweza kushikana pamoja tunaweza kudumia jamii yetu ambayo wako katika hali ngumu ya kiafya Kwengineko Bart Kipsogei Lesonet ambaye ni ndugu yake mbunge wa Eldama Ravin amefikishwa katika mahakama ya Nakuru kwa makosa ya kutaka kumlaga seneta wa kaunti ya Baringo Gideon Moi kipande cha ardhi ya dhamani ya shilingi milioni moja milioni moja ambapo inadaiwa kwamba alitaka kumlaga hai kupitia stakabadhi gushi za umiliki mshukiwa aliachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni tano na pesa taslimu shilingi laki nane kesi hiyo itaendelea kusikizwa hapo kesho na vio vya mafunzo ya matibabu KMTC katika miji ya Kitui na Mwingi vimekabidhiwa mabasi mapya magari hayo 
iliyosilishwa kwa mwenyekiti wa bodi ya KMTC Professor Philip Kaloki na wakuu wa taasisi hizo mabasi hayo yamedhaminiwa na chuo hicho pamoja na benki ya dunia usimamizi wa chuo hicho umesema kwamba ni muhimu kuhakikisha kwamba kuna miundo misingi fayo ili kuwezesha mafunzo kufanyika barabara <tos> so thankful to the headquarters for bringing this bus we have been promised it long time ago today we have seen the honor of the promise here at uh, uh, Kenya Medical Training College uh, Mwingi campus we are here um, so that we can strengthen our campus here uh, in terms of preparedness for September intake uh, at the moment the campus is growing here the catchment of this area in this uh, county, the, the upper part of uh, Kitui County, uh, we are finding a lot of interest coming to the headquarter. And that has informed us uh, uh, to continue to, to put additional structures here. There will be uh, the collaborations between the Kenya Medical Training College and the, uh, the county of, of Kitui. The governor here, uh, Her Excellency Charity Gilu, has supported the, uh, the campus uh, with additional resources. There will be seven classrooms which will be coming up here. Uh, Kenya Medical Training College, we were able to, to, to procure, to buy a bus uh, for, this, for this campus here so that the students can be able to access the training sites. Um, uh, we have been able to, to do that uh, this morning. Also, uh, they are, we are also reviewing uh, the curriculum uh, for the courses that we are teaching here. We want to align uh, this campus, the courses we offer here, with the universal health care to, to ensure uh, the courses we are teaching here also in the next four years we should be able to deliver uh, the, the health care uh, workers which will be coming out so that we can also train them to ensure that the, the universal health care coverage is well uh, uh, delivered uh, also. Na askofu msimamizi wa idara ya gereza Pita Kimani amewataka Wakristo wote kuombea maafisa wa polisi kote nchini wakati wanazidi kudumisha amani. Alikuwa akizungumza katika kanisa la Katoliki la St Augustine Cathedral huko Lodwa. Kanisa hilo limekuwa likipigia upatu juhudi za kuhamisha ama kuhamasisha uhusiano mwema kati ya maafisa usalama na wananchi. familia zetu karibu katika hizi sherehe na imekuwa ya kuvana sana. So natarajia kwamba kwa miaka mbili ambaye ijayo eh, Kenya Police Service watafanya na tutawa support kwa vyote vile iwe sherehe ya kuvana because atumeona tabiso mwenyewe akisema hii sherehe za rubwa zimekuwa moja zile za kuvana sana. Here to acknowledge that God watches over our officers in our society even as they come to watch over them. So we come here to thank God for the successes that we have gone through, to pray for the challenges that we have gone through. We also have lost officers in the, in the line of duty, and we also pray for their souls and their families. We pray for peace in the region and in the country as a whole. And especially now, we know there are a lot of challenges, particularly in this region, the, the issues of the resources which are there. You know our security officers are also going to have the challenges to contain the peace and to bring the peace together. We also pray for them so that there could be a peaceful resolution to all the challenges that they go through. Tazamaji mbunge wa Likuyani Enokibu Nguchi ametetea utendakazi wa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta sa katika vita dhidi ya ufisadi. Mbunge huyo wa Ford Kenya ametaka vita dhidi ya ufisadi kuendelezwa bila kuingizwa siasa ili kufikia malengo ya agenda nne za maendeleo. Alikuwa kizungumza katika shule ya upili ya wasichana ya Moi na Ngili kusherehekea ushindi wa shule hiyo katika mchezo wa kandanda.
Wathri wa wamafuriko katika kaunti ya Tanariva wamelalamikia kupuzwa na idara mbalimbali za serikali licha ya kuendelea kukumbana na changamoto zilizotokana na mafuriko aliyokumba eneo hilo kati ya mwezi Mei na mwezi Juni. Wathri wa hao wanasema hawajapokea msaada wote licha ya hadi kutolewa. Hamza Yusuf anarifu zaidi. Ngua mimi niko naye. Hii tu peke yake. Hawa ni baadhi ya watu waliopoteza kila kitu wakati wa mafuriko mapema mwaka huu. Anini. Miezi kadhaa baadaye wanasema hakuna aliyewakumbuka wala kutaka kujua hali wanaopitia. Na hali ya uchumi kwa saa hii biashara hakuna, maisha yamekuwa duni, watoto kama hao wengine wao bado hawajawahi fikia kuhudhuria mashuleni. Dadi ambayo kwamba mifugo ilipotea ni kama mia moja ile ilifagiliwa kutoka upande ya chini kutaramka kwa muto ile maji ambayo kwamba ya juu imeletwa ya mvua so tulipata hasara kubwa kutoka mifugo mbuzi e, ngombe mashamba yote ilikatikia upande ya, ya, ya ngambo ali bukeni moja wao na umaskini umemsaka mabada ya maafa hayo kutokana na mifugo wake kusombwa na mafuriko nimebaki na mbuzi moja peke yake ndio nimebaki naye kwa hivyo saa hii ndio tunaomba serikali amuke juu ijaribu kutusaidia vyovyote ile iwezekanavyo ndio turudi hali ya maisha sawa sawa siku ya leo Mola amewakumbuka waja wake kupitia msaada kwa waathiri wa hawa waliotembelewa na shirika la wahisani Asa, target yetu kwanza kabisa ni wale watu wenye ulemavu ndio tukuje kwa wale wamama wenye watoto wadogo alafu wale orphans wenye wana wazazi kabisa Alafu sasa tutafata ile jamii yenye tunaona hii iko na households yenye iko na watoto wale wameathirika na malnutrition yani wale severely kabisa walikuwa affected. Wanatoa wito kwa serikali kuu pamoja na za kaunti ya Garissa na Tana River kutoa mchango wao wa msaada ili kubadili hali ya waathiri wa wengi. Hamza Yusuf KT News Bura Tana River na hatimaye bei ya umeme inatarajiwa kupungua mwezi Agosti baada ya tume ya kudhibiti kawi kuondoa ada kila mwezi inayotozwa wanaotumia umeme. Kadhalika ada ya mafuta imepunguzwa. Wateja walikuwa wakitozwa shilingi moja hamsini kama ada ya kudumu kila mwezi hata kama hawajatumia umeme. The Energy Water Commission approves the retail tariffs for the next tariff control period as follows. The overall unit cost of power will reduce from 17.77 per kilowatt hour. That was in the financial year 2017-18 to 16.64 per kilowatt hour in 2018-19, representing an overall reduction of costs of about 6% over the tariff control period. So generally, when you look at close board, all the categories, from the commercial industrial, the domestic category, the small commercial, and of course the street lighting, we are having an over 6% reduction in the overall cost of power. The lifeline target, which is meant to caution the low-income households, who at the moment constitute about 3.6 million of Kenya Power's customers, will reduce by 36%. The commercial industrial customers on average will get a reduction of about 4.4%. We have the commercial industrial from category 1 up to category 5. The average reduction is about 4.4%. 
This is in addition to the 50% discount in the time of use tariff and the proposed special economic zone tariff. The commercial industrial customers, the manufacturers, will continue enjoying the time of use tariff at 50% of the energy charge. That will be retained and we have made it more better for them to enjoy during off-peak.